Okay, so what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to get started uh, with Kendo UI for React using the NWB uh, React command line tool. And this command line tool basically sets up React apps. It does some other things um, as well, but uh, today we're just going to use it to set up a, a very simple React application. So first thing we need to do is just verify that we have Node.js. And it looks like I do have it. Uh, if you don't have it, you're going to have to install it. You can um, go to nodejs.org and download it. Uh, I'm on OS X. If you're on Windows, you can download it for Windows. Um, but just make sure that you have Node. All right. The next thing we're going to do is use npm to install the command line tool. So we'll do npm install globally nwb. And we will wait here a little bit for this to install. Almost done. There we go, I think we're good, okay. So now we have the uh, command line tool installed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the tool to create a very basic React app. Um, and we'll just go down here and look. Let's see project types over here. Okay, we just want to do a very simple React app. So I will type nwb new React app and we will place all of this in a folder called kendo ui for react all right so what this is going to do is actually where am i i did this uh, this is fine i meant to do this on my desktop but uh we'll just do it in this directory so now that uh, that's created, uh, let's just uh, change directories uh, into that directory that the command line tool created for us. And we'll open that directory up in Atom. And as you can see here, um, we have a package.json file all set up for us, a test directory, source, public, a bunch of node modules, um, essentially the scaffold of React application for us, uh, which is really nice. Um, very simple one. We've got an index.html page here. It starts, uh, this tool uses Webpack, so it'll uh, use index.js to sort of kick off the app, and this app pulls in this app.js file. Now, the first thing we're going to do is basically just import Kendo UI. Um, but before I do that, uh, the command line tool offers a server to, to get set up and started uh, running this app. So we're going to go ahead and start that now. And we'll go back over here to package.json just to look. So all I'm doing is running an npm start uh, command. We're going to pass it this flag, and this is really cool. Uh, we're going to pass it this auto. install flag. Now what this means is this com command line tool, it will actually automatically install the packages that I import uh, into my modules. So let's kick this off and see if we can get going. Um, we're at localhost uh, 3000. Okay, so this is actually working. Um, I'm actually pulling this uh, app.js file into the page and we get this uh, welcome to react. So what we really want to do though is um, is start using the uh, Kinder UI for react components. So we're going to jump over here to github and pull in these Kinder UI react buttons. So all I'm going to do is uh, go down here and grab this import statement, um, ES6 import statement. And normally um, this would work, but npm uh, has all these packages bundled up into uh, under the Telerik name. So in, to to actually get these 
um, to install, we're going to have to call, um, we're going to have to install it as at Telerik um, for now. Um, so we'll do at Telerik slash, and that's what I want. Now, all I'm going to do here is hit the save button. And I want you to watch the command line down here. I haven't, I didn't NPM install anything. The, the command line tool, the system's in, in doing it for me. And so it installs that package. Um, it re reruns Webpack. And as you can see, nothing changed here um, because all we did was install the package. Um, so let's jump back over here and grab some React components. Uh, we'll drop them in the page and we'll hit save. And of course, I'm using this great tool, so it reloads the page automatically for me, and we see we've got three buttons here, these React component buttons, but uh, they look pretty plain. And the reason this is is because with a lot of this front-end React code, we have to actually include a CSS file. Um, and the way to do that is we're just going to hunt this file down, first of all. Um, here are my React buttons. Here's uh, distribution, npm. I actually need to make sure this file gets installed. Uh, and one thing that this uh, tool allows us to do is import CSS files. It's all set up for us. So I'm just going to import um, using sort of the same format, this at Telerik, but I want this style sheet uh, from the npm package. And so if I hit save now, uh, Webpack's going to rerun, uh, the server is going to be aware of the update, and of course I get three buttons here. And that's that's as simple as it is. Um, you know, you, using this as a base, we, we pretty much have a React app ready to roll, Webpack's all set up. Um, you, can, you can go back to GitHub and sort of look at some of the other tools and options you have here with this test directory and configuring this command line tool. Um, so yeah, pretty simple to get started. A lot's going on underneath the hood there. Uh, and one thing I think I should probably point out um, is a lot of the examples on, uh, on the Kendo UI for React uh, GitHub pages involve uh, using uh, the class format in React and so just want to show one small hiccup you might run into if you do do this. Uh, so we're going to, um, let's see here. I'm going to actually grab this class and drop it into this module. And then I'm going to take uh, the components that are used and replace them with our previous. And now if I hit save here, uh, I'm going to get an error. And it's because uh, we're using some syntax here that Babel's just not quite aware of. Um, and so we've got to sort of go and configure Babel. And so I'm going to open this nw uh, config file and add a configuration for Babel. So let's go back to our command line here and I'm going to grab the configuration setting from the documentation here. So let me jump in here, configuration. Uh, let's go down to Babel. I'm just going to grab this stage zero. And if you're familiar with Babel, you're, we're just configuring Babel to uh, accept some of the um, changes to the ECMAScript language that are still uh, being staged for the next version of JavaScript. And if I hit save here, I'm going to have to go down and restart the server. And we still have an error. Ah, yes. I did this wrong. Copy and paste. Get you every time. All right, let's try this one more time. All right, there we go. So now, if I hit refresh, once the build is, there we go. Now we have, uh, basically we're pulling in this code straight from the buttons repo, sort of demonstrating all these uh, different React buttons. Um, 
And this was as simple uh, as importing these two statements up here. And of course, configuring Babel. So hopefully, I, if you are interested in command line tool to get started, sort of scaffold up and get going really fast, this is a really nice solution.